Oh. Uh, hi, folks. Um, my, my computer just literally restarted it itself. I'm gonna oh. see where Dread just saved me. I don't know why that happened. Like, the lights in my room just flickered for a second. And my computer also restarted. Mm. Um. Normal. Yeah, I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna. Keep going with Dredge for a little bit. I do want to do that fishing now that the fishing. Like I, I, I know I can get there. What the. F what the fuck, dude. I. I. Uh, res restart something. Yeah. No, I, I gotta restart stuff. Like my face. Where's my face? My face. Ah! There's my face. That was so fucking bizarre, too, because, like, my computer's not hot or anything. Power of the artifact. <laughs> Sorry, SpongeBob. You landed on eels. You have to restart your computer now. <laughs> Yo. Those are the two games. I guess I'm going to continue. What a fuck. I guess the back at fell. <laughs> Game was like, no. You have made the eel too mad. You have to leave. Come back later. Also, my audio has reset itself, it seems. There we go. Alright, so there's that passage there. Oh, I think I figured out why the whales aren't here anymore. Hmm. Yeah. I think... I think there might be... something possibly predating upon the whales. Oh. Oh, crazy. But... Oh, fuck. Buddy. Do you even understand how I'm going to defeat you? Like fucking, like fucking snake. What? Oh, okay. You're apparently fast enough to just hit me. Cool. Well, I've already taken the damage, so I'll see if I can fish up this treasure or if it literally crashes my computer again. The family crest. Well, found that. That's okay, I suppose. He did batch up my fucking engine quite badly, though. Powered selectively by your beating heart. It was just literally he got too close. Perhaps I was too disrespectful to him, and my just the choices of my actions finally caught up with me, you know? How do you understand? Do you understand that your actions have consequences? When will you learn 
Where are all these eels? He said they're somewhere in those passages, so I'm gonna repair the boat, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a series of bad decisions. <laughs> Did you run aground on rocks or something? Huh. No, I didn't. I think you should return the family crest first before you, just in case. I'm gonna put it in storage. I don't want to waste the night. Because I'm already out here, and sailing to him and then back into the tunnels will probably take up the whole night. We're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. But there ain't no whale, so we tell tall tales and sing our whaling tune. We're whalers on the moon. We carry a harpoon. There's eyes in the fog, run aground on log. I'm sailing to my doom. Oh! <laughs> Hello. So the rocks are hidden when you're at sanity issues, I see. Who's to say that rock was ever even there to begin with, you know? I don't want you, Devil Eel, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be killed by a by an oceanic sh uh, sanity shark now. I think. I think having my sanity too low means that he is gonna get me. I think. <laughs> boy, oh boy. That's cool. Uh, equipment broken. Great. Good morning, crusty crew. Something slithers into your cargo hold! Hmm. <laughs> I see. We're going back to port. I'm going around the long way. I'm not risking seeing any eels. And you know what? Quite honestly, fuck that lady and her eel request. Can you go get me a big dangerous eel? I promise you will not see a bigger dangerous -er eel. Like, I literally got attacked by the fucking Sanity Shark, man. What do you do about that? Here comes Sanity Shark. Hello, sir. I've got a present for you. It is not the Devil Ray. Is this your family crest? <laughs> All right, that's cool. I'll do that. Also, do you know where I can buy dynamite? Ah. Oh, your brother at Ingfell made explosives, huh? Sorry, oh, they were doing fucking blast whaling. God, that's gross. I hate that as a practice so much. It's 
like, yeah, a whale. One of the largest and most beautiful oceanic organisms. We are now going to throw a C4 charge into it and blow it up. Literally I mean, just blow it to fucking smithereens. I mean, fuck. That's how I would deal with, like, a hippopotamus. Yeah, but, like, it's... A hippopotamus means you harm, you know? Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? An eel is going to eat him. <sighs> sure. Would you like an eel? Oh, you set a charge. I see. So I can... Maybe I can make that area safe to fish in once I detonate the explosives. But I'm gonna go fucking just sell that infected ray and hope it doesn't kill someone. And that's can gonna you, be the end of the stream, because I'm scared. Can you bring that infected ray back to Greater Marrow? You know, that's a great idea. I'm gonna do that, actually. You know, that'll be our, our last little leg of this stream, is our, our return to Greater Marrow. Hat in our fucking hands, apologizing for being such monstrous bastards. Couldn't avoid the rock that appeared out of nowhere. Literally, it did! It was a rock of my own mind. Do you understand me? How could you? No one could understand me. Not anymore. Alright. Go sell our trinkets and stuff back at Greater Marrow once we sleep. And then we will be able to have a, a nice productive next stream, probably. you have any final uh, thoughts about fish you'd like to relate to us, Gub? I love fishing. That that would that's that's my thoughts on fish. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, are there multiple beams of red light or just the one? Uh, I think the beam of red light leads to wherever the next artifact we need to get is. Because there's only one over in that town. Uh. Yeah. I love the idea of trawl net fishing. Like, it's super destructive in real life, so I'm kind of against it. But I do like the idea that you... Like, a, like a fish is just going along one day and just gets fucking got. Like, the actual chances of a fish falling into a trawling net seems so hilariously low to me. It's like if I was a, like, like, bird strikes on airplanes. Like, imagine being a bird and hitting an airplane. Like, you have no concept of a human what, what being, luck. let alone what an airplane, depending on what kind what, of bird you are. Yeah, what terrible luck you must have to just, uh, well. Catch me some cod. To apologize for the horrible manta ray that I am going to try and sell them, I suppose. I do like how the fish jiggle very slightly when you pick up their icons and, like, you shake them around on your mouse. They have, like, very slight fish physics to them. That's the kind of attention to detail you don't always get in games. Hello everyone, I'm back. Would you like a very stinky fish? Fishmonger. Is this going to sell for anything? Wow, $18, huh? How much are those normally worth? 
gonna check that before I uh, wrap up. Hmm. Also, you get me a set of halogen for my boat. Hell yeah, we are now officially headlight people, but for the boat. Wow. I see we've, we have become... <laughs> we've become that which we revile most, yes. And I'm just gonna head across the way and, uh, sell the last of my trinkets. Just because I always feel bad when I upload, like, a, a 20 second video to YouTube that's like, ah, Thanks. end of stream, everyone. I don't like that they point out that it has specifically human molars. I have been given careless harvesting. What's that for? <laughs> I think for... <laughs> just, dry, just fishing a bunch of spots dry? I think so. Yeah. Wow. What, you want me to be fucking sustainable? No. You and I both know that these fish are coming from the formless flesh miles below the surface. Obviously. I haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. Uh, probably nothing. It's probably like the, the light that signifies the power of the deep or whatever, come to think of it. Anyway, how much will you give me for these dabloons, sir? I got five dabloons. Five dabloons. Fifty-five dabloons, actually. Damn. Okay, so dredging with a net out seems like a really, really, really good way to make money. Alright. Any further thoughts before we, uh... We wrap up this very nautical stream? Hmm, not particularly. Well, let me say. The only thing I love more than fishing... ...is being a grandpa. The only thing I love more than fishing is being a grandpa. Good night, everyone. Good night. No one else is going to get that joke.